Hey, this is Mitch. I am here today with Joe the Pro, and we are doing a coolant service. Uh, take it away, Joe. We're using the uh, air operated coolant machine. Uh, I went ahead and poured my 50 50 coolant and water, and the new fluid tank, it says new on this side, and then the other tank says used on the side of the tank. We got the new coolant in. The vehicle, we brought it up to operating temperature. We're ready to go ahead and start the evac process, but I wanted to show the adapter I'm using. I'm using the six inch tube that goes down inside the P gas bottle along with the uh, three inch cone. I'm gonna install the three inch cone to the P gas bottle. I'm gonna hold firm pressure on the handle. And after I hold firm pressure on the handle, I'm gonna open the evac valve, which is a red valve. And we're right now pulling a vacuum on the system. I don't know if you can see it right now, but you can actually watch the vacuum pull down on the system. Here shortly, we're gonna have our radiator hoses flattening out. With them flattening out, we're pulling all the coolant out of the system. We're gonna do this until we start seeing air pull through the line. And then I'm gonna close the red ball valve and then open the green ball valve. Make sure when you're uh, using this machine, you don't touch the metal fittings because they get extremely hot, especially on the back side. So always be careful, make sure you wear a glove or you're just using the plastic little handles. Like with most of our videos, I wanna share with anyone who's watching that if you do a coolant service with one of our warranty approved kits before 100,000 miles, you get a $2,000 warranty on your coolant system. If you chose to do that service before 50,000 miles, that warranty would double to $4,000. Starting to get air, so I'm gonna go ahead and pump it back in. A good rule of thumb is once the pressure gauge or the vacuum gauge reaches zero, the cooling system usually is full, right on, spot on. Uh, the only vehicle that you have to be careful about when doing a service with this machine is your Euro vehicles like Land Rover, BMW, Mercedes-Benz. They all require a special bleed procedure to bleed out the air pockets in the cooling system. Always refer to either all data or your workshop manual to make sure you're bleeding the cooling system the correct way. Cool. So right now we are at two minutes and 25 seconds. On average, Joe, what? Uh, how long does this service take? This service, it depends on the kit that you use. We're using the 5871 kit, which are both additives that go in after the service. If you're using a kit that has our fast wash chemical in, that's when you spike the service time up to another additional 10 minutes for the fast wash cleaning. On this service, this service probably takes only about 10 or 15 minutes start to finish. If you're using a kit with fast flush chemical, it's going to be about 20, 25 minutes. Cool. And again, normal flag times for this range between one hour and eight tenths. One hour to eight tenths. Awesome. We're, we're done here. I have to see we're all around the whole line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start it up, make sure it gets the operating temperature again. After it gets the operating temperature again, we're going to make sure we're on the whole line still. And then we're going to suck out the coolant as we need to get our address in. Super.
down the top of the system, top of the mobile line, and then allow the kitchen to swim in it. So this kitchen is to the uh, operating system. Thank you. 